life is shit. From Aristotle to Socrates, from Confucius to Jesus Christ, Hegel's Mother Teresa, Hitler. <laughs> All of these people encapsulated in their writings of or thunderous speeches the definition of life. At the end of the day, the only true definition is that life has no definition. <laughs> life is shit. Beautiful, ironic, horrifying shit. But life at the end of the day. For <laughs> shit. Life was nothing more than a theater play when you have to enjoy, laugh, cheer, and dance while the spotlights illuminate the stalls of the stage. While the audience laughs, mocks, and judges you. They judge you for everything and for nothing. But you, you keep smiling. Life is to live it and to enjoy it, isn't it? My time on the scene is over. The curtain will co soon close. Or the cancer, or the chemotherapy, or me. <laughs> or all at the same time. But I'm not just an any actor. I am the leading actor. Everyone has to come to see my big closure. That's why I wear makeup. Not for anything else. I have to look beautiful. Stupendous, fantastic. I have to be ready for my closure, my grand finale, my last act, a last dance, a last tango with death. With every step, with each movement, with the violence of his cruelty and the compassion of his gaze, my life is ripped out of me. I want him to take me, I want death to make love to me. To set me free, to make me his life for the rest of eternity. And so I live with the hammering of the piano, with the counterpoint of the violence. I live with the melody drawn by the flute. I live the stage with the tango. I live with a kiss. The lights go out, the curtains close, and of the sun. if you yell. You shouldn't yell. You'll pop little blood vessels in your face if you yell. No. I was joking. That was a joke, Mr. Sofa. I... Look, this'll take a minute. Eat something already. Now what kind of a tasty sandwich is this here? Hmm. Liver or something. Here. Hmm. Uh-huh, uh-huh. No. I already told you, Mr. Sofa. It was a vacation, Mr. Sofa. It was business. <laughs> I have clients in Haiti, Mr. Sofa. I... I leave. Look. You think I'm the only goddamn lawyer in history ever to miss a court date? Don't make it such a big fucking boot, you head. <laughs> Hello? Ah. Sorry to give you holding, Judge Hollins. I... Oh, Mrs. Hollins. Sorry, the voice they got there. She sounds like a truck driver, and he sounds like a gunsmith. Very confusing. Hold. Huh. What? Hold a minute. Mrs. Sofa! Mrs. God fucking damn it, where is... Uh, well, she was there a minute ago. Jesus fuck, this goddamn uh, thing. Baby go, bring me the books. Get me Susie, see if... Christ! Roy! Oh, what? Could you please not take the 
Lord's name in vain. I'm sorry, but at least while I'm here. Right. Sorry. Fuck. Only in America. Baby, me up. Tell them all to fuck off. Tell them I died. Tell them I'm sculpting a judge. I'll give it to her. I'll call her back. I will call her back. I know how much I borrowed. She got 400 times the stuff up her. Yeah, tell her I said that. So, yo. I'm sorry, boy, boy. No, 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 no. I respect principles. I'm not religious, but I like God, and God likes me. <laughs> Baptist, Catholic. Mormon. Mormon, delectable. Absolutely. Only in America. So, Joe, what you think? It's, well... Crazy life. Chaos. But God bless chaos, right? Hmm. Mormons. I knew Mormons once in, um, Nevada. Uh, Utah, mostly. No. I think these Mormons were in Vegas. So, so how'd you like to go to Washington and work for the Justice Department? Excuse me? How'd you like to go to Washington and work for the Justice Department? All I gotta do is pick up the phone, talk to Ed, and you're in. In what exactly? Associate Assistant, Heart of the Wood, something nice with clout. Ed. Meets the Attorney General. Oh. I just have to pick up the phone. I have to think. Of course. It's a great time to be in Washington. Roy, right. this is incredibly exciting. And, and it will mean something to me. You understand? I, I do. I'm so... I'm sort of stunned, Roy. I mean... But I have to give it some thought. I have to... I have to ask my wife. Your wife? Of course. But, but I really appreciate you. Of course. Me. Talk to your wife. saw Emma Goldman speak to me, but all she could remember was that she spoke well and wore a hat. <laughs> what a strange service that rabbi! Oh, well, the friend is fine. Get his number when you go to the graveyard. I want him to bury me. <laughs> Better head out there. We all get to put dirt on the coffin once it's lowered in. <laughs> <laughs> Cemetery fun. It's an old Jewish custom to express the love. Here, grandmother, have a shovel for you. Latecomers run the risk of finding the grave completely filled. She was a strange lady, up there in that home all those years, talking to herself. I never visited. She reminded me too much of my mom. Mm. I'm sorry, your grandma's dead. Tiny little coffin, huh? Mm. Look, I'm so sorry I didn't introduce you to do you know I get so closety at these family Butch! Things? You get Butch! Hey, Cousin Doris, you don't remember me. I am Lou. Rachel's boy. Lou. It's not Louis. Because if you say Louis, they'll hear you. They'll hear the silly man's Hey, I, I do not have Oh, and by the way, darling, Cousin Doris is a bad. No. Really? You don't notice anything. If I hadn't spent the last four years filleting you, I swear you were straight. <laughs> <laughs> no one's in a pissy mood. Cat's still missing. Not a horrible insight. And it's your fault. It is. I warn you, his names are important. Call an animal, 
little Shiba and you can't expect it to stick around. <laughs> <laughs> Besides, it's a dog's name. Hey, I wanted a dog in the first place. Not a cat. He sprayed my boots. He was a female cat. <laughs> Cats are high-strung predators. Babylonians feed them up in bricks. Dogs have brains. Cats have intuition. A really sharp dog is as smart as a really dull two-year-old child. Let's know when something's wrong. <laughs> what did Shiba know? Oh, that's why Shiba laughed. Because she knew. Knew <laughs> what? I did my best through the booth this morning. With the blood sweepers, house stuff, curlers, kind of. Little freeze. Come back, little Shiba. Come back. To no avail. El gato no vendrá jamás, jamás, jamás. See? That's just the burst blood vessel. Not according to the best medical authorities. Tell me. Chaos, baby. The wine dark keys of the angel of death. Please, I am a legionnaire. The foreign legion, the American legion. Legionnaires, the sea. Stop. My troubles are Will legion. You please stop. Well, don't you think I'm handling this well? I'm going to die. Bullshit. <laughs> Let go of my arm. No. Let go. No! No. I can find a way to spare you, baby. No wall like the wall of hard scientific facts. KF. One. Bang your hand on that. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Now that's what I like to hear. My dear reaction. Let's go see if the cats come home. Louis, when did you find out? I couldn't tell you. Why? I was afraid. Afraid of what, Prior? That you will leave me. Bad timing, funeral and all, but... I figured that as long as we are in the subject of that... I have to go back my grandma. Look. Then... You will come home? Then I'll come home. Oh, 
That doesn't make sense. Uh, you have all the time in the world. You could finish it when I'm at work or... I, I'm afraid to go in there alone. Afraid of what? I heard someone in there. A metal scrapping over the wall. A man with a knife, maybe. <laughs> How many kills today, buddy? No! One! Three! Only three! Look, I, I know this is scary for you, but try to understand what it means to me. Do we try? Yes. Good. Really try. I think things are starting to change in the world. But I don't know. Wait for the good. Change for the good. America has rediscovered itself, its sacred position among nations. I need to be a part of that. I need something big to lift me up. If you look at it, six years ago, the world seemed in decline. Horrible, hopeless, full of unsolvable problems and crime and confusion. But it's still seen that way, more now than before. They say you was only a And today, Oh, the window on Atlantic Avenue, there was a schizophrenic traffic cop who was okay, making... I'm trying to make a point. So am I. You aren't even making sense. My you point just... is the world seems just as... It only seems to you that way because you never go out in the world, I've heard. And you have emotional problems. I do still get out in the world. Where do you go? Where do you go when you walk? And I don't have that emotional problem. Harper? And if I do have an emotional problems, then it's from living with you, or... Um, I'm sorry, buddy. I, I didn't mean to... Or if you do think I do, then you should never have married me. You have all these secrets and lies. I want to be married to you, Harper. You shouldn't. You never should. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Buddy, please. I'm sorry, uh, I don't know your name. It's fine. I work in word processing. Lowest of the low. Uh, Joe Pitt. Oh, I, know. I know, I know. Counselor Pitt, Chief Clerk. Were you... Are you okay? I'm okay. Thanks for asking. What a nice man. Uh, not so nice. Not so... Forget it. No, look. You sure you are... Life sucks shit! Life just sucks shit! What's wrong? There's a run in my nylons! Sorry? There's a run in my... <laughs> Forget it. <laughs> look, thanks for asking. Well... No, really. It is nice of you. I'm sorry. Yeah, well, that's sweet. Three of your colleagues have preceded you to this baleful sight, and not one of them bothered to ask. They all just opened the door, saw me, and fled. I hope that would be real bad. I'm sure they didn't want to intrude. <laughs> heartless, macho, asshole, Reaganite lawyer. Oh, that's unfair. What is? Heartless, macho, Reaganite lawyer? <laughs> I voted for Reagan. Did. Twice. Well, wow, boy, a gay republic. Excuse me? Nothing. <laughs> I I'm not. Forget it. <laughs> you're, you're not Republican. <laughs> <laughs> not gay. I'm not gay. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> 
just that sometimes you can tell by the way a person sounds. I mean, you sound... No, like I don't. <laughs> like what? Like a Republican. <laughs> <laughs> Do I sound like a, like a Republican? Or do I? <gasps> do you what? Sound like a, like a... <laughs> I'm confused. Yes, you are. <laughs> the name's Louis. But all my friends call me Louis. I work in word processing. Thank you for the toilet paper. I am ready for my close-up. <laughs> Mr. Demu. One wants to move through life with elegance and grace. Blossoming like infrequently, but with exquisite taste. Just like a rare bloom, like a zebra orchid. One wants, but one so seldom gets what one wants. Does one? No, one does not. One gets fucked <laughs> over. One dies at 30, robed of decades of majesty. Fuck the shit. Oh, fuck the shit! Oh! Oh, my God. Are you... Who are you? Oh, who are you? What are you doing in my hallucination? I'm not in your hallucination. <laughs> you are in my dream. You were in makeup. So are you. But you're a man. <laughs> the hands and feet give it away. <laughs> there must be some sort of mistake here. I don't recognize you. You're not. Are you my. some sort of imaginary friend? No. Aren't you too old to have imaginary friends? <laughs> <laughs> I have emotional problems. I took too many pills. <laughs> and you are dancing as fast as you can. I'm not addicted, and well, I don't believe in addiction, and I never drink, and I never take drugs. Well, smell you, Nancy Drew. Except Valium. In we fit for. That's terrible. Mormons are not supposed to be addicted to anything. I'm a Mormon. I am homosexual. <laughs> oh! In my church, we don't believe in homosexuals. Oh, in my church, we don't believe in Mormons. do <laughs> you? Oh. I get it. I 
don't understand that. Mm. If I didn't ever see you before, and I don't think I did, mm -hmm. then I don't think you should be here, in this hallucination. Because in my experience, the mind, which is where hallucination comes from, shouldn't be able to make up anything that wasn't there to start with. Mm. That didn't enter it from experiences, from the real world. Nothing a no is knowable. Don't you think it's depressing? The limitations of imagination. Yes. Mm. This is the most depressing hallucination I ever had. Well, apologies. I do try to be amusing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, don't apologize. I can't expect someone who's really sick to entertain me. Oh, how on earth did you know? Oh, oh that happened. Very threshold of revelation. You can see things, how sick you are. Do you see anything about me? Yes. What? You are amazingly unhappy. <laughs> Big deal. You meet a valium addict and you figure out she's unhappy. Of course I. Something else, something else. Something surprising. Something surprising. Uh huh. Mm, your husband's a homo. <laughs> <laughs> really? Ridiculous. Threshold of revelation, honey. <laughs> well, I don't like your revelation. Mm. And I don't think you into it well at all. Joe's a very normal man. And he... Oh, God. Mm. Oh, God. Do a whole take like a lot of long walks? <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> we do. In stretch pants with lavender cloth. Yes, we do. <laughs> Just look at you and there was... Like a blue streak of precognition. Yeah. Like you knew me incredibly well. Yes. Yes. I have to go. Get back. Something just fell apart. Uh, I'm sorry. I usually say fuck the truth, but mostly the truth fucks me. <laughs> I can see something else about you. Hmm? Deep inside you, the most inner part. And turn it to your disease. I can see that. Start. That isn't true. Special revelation. Boom. Oh! People come and go so quickly here. I don't feel there is any uninfected part of me. My heart is pumping polluted blood. I feel dirt. What the fuck? Look up! Hello? Look up! Who is that? Oh, I don't see any. Look up, look up, prepare the way. The infinite descent of breath in the air, floating down. Glory to. Hello? <laughs> Is that it? Hello? <laughs> Oh, what the fuck! <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor me. Poor, poor me. Why me? Why poor, poor me? Oh, I don't feel good right now. I really don't. Out, thinking. It's late. I 
I had a lot to think about. I burned dinner. Sorry? Not my dinner. My dinner was fine. Your dinner. I put it back in the oven and turned up everything as high as it could go. And I watched it burn black. <laughs> it's still hot. Very hot. <laughs> Want it? <laughs> you didn't have to do that. I know, it just seems like the kind of thing a mentally deranged, sex starved people in our sweat could do. Uh huh. So I did it. Who knows anymore what I have to do? How many pills? <laughs> Bunch. Don't change the subject. I won't talk to you and you keep taking. No, no, don't do that. I'm fine. Things are not the problem, not our problem. I want to know where you've been. I want to know what's going on. Going on with what? The job. Not the job. Uh, I said I need more time. Not the job. Mr. Khan, I talked to him on the phone the not other the... day. He said I had to hurry, but I can't get you to talk sensibly about anything, so... Shut up! Then what? Stick to the subject. I don't know what that is. You have something to ask me. Uh, ask me. Go. Oh. I can't. I'm scared of you. I'm tired. I'm going to bed. Tell me without making me ask. Arthur, this is crazy. I, I don't know what to tell you. You terrify me. I know who you are. Yes, I'm the enemy. That's easy. That doesn't change. You think you're the only one who hates sex? Well, I do. I hate it with you, though I do. We should never have married you, my friend. You will be secret and lies. And always tell when you're taking those pills because it makes you red faced and sweaty and frankly that's very often why I don't want to because well you aren't pretty not like this I have something to ask you then that ass ass what in the hell are you oh no oh no are you Try to walk out right now. I put your dinner back in the oven, <laughs> <laughs> and everyone in the building will asphyxiate. So help me God, I will. Now, answer the question. What if I? Then tell me, please, and we'll see. No. No, I'm not. I don't see what difference it makes. clear textual guide to the afterlife. Or that it exists. I rarely think about it. To me, it's just a perpetual rainy Thursday afternoon in the middle of March. Dead leaves. Oh, very, very common. Well, for us, it's not the verdict that comes, but the act of judgment. It's why I could never be a lawyer. All that matters in court is the, is the verdict. You could never be a lawyer because you are over sex. <laughs> Not distracted. Abstracted. I'm trying to make a point. The point, you're the point. That it should be the total shape and questions of a life gathered, arranged, and considered, which should matter in the end. Not some eternal stamp of salvation or damnation which attempts to disperse all this complexity into some unsatisfying little decision, the balancing of scales. Mm, I like this. Very sad. It's reassuringly incomprehensible and useless. <laughs> we who are about to die, thank you. <laughs> you are not about to die. It's not going well for you. Do you need mission? My leg hurts at night. There is protein in my urine, the doctor says, but who knows what the fuck that is. Anyway, it shouldn't be there, the, the protein. My butt is shot from diarrhea and yesterday. 
yesterday I shot love. I really hate this. You don't tell me anything and you just expect me to- You get too upset. I wind up confronting you if it's easy Gee, if I... thanks, Briar. Well, if it's bad, I will tell you, Luis. Shitting blood sounds bad to me. And I am telling you- And I'm handling it. I am handling it. Well, Luis, you win. Trooper of the month. I take it back. You aren't the trooper of the month. This isn't working. Come, tell me more about justice. You are not about to die. Justice. Prior? Mm hmm. You love me, right? Yes. What if I walked out on this? On us? Would you hate me forever? Yes. <clears throat> I think we ought to pray. Ask God for help. Ask Him together. God won't talk to me. I have to meet up people to talk to you. Well, you have to keep asking. Mm, I forgot the question. Oh, yes. God. Is my husband the... Stop it! Stop it! I'm warning you! Does it really make a difference that I might be wanting to be in, no matter how wrong or ugly that thing is. As long as I fought with everything I have, what do you want from me, Pastor? What do you want from me? More than that? For oh, God's sake, there's nothing left. I'm a shell. There's nothing left to kill. I'm going to have a baby. Liar. You, you liar. liar. <laughs> a baby born addicted to pill. A baby who does not dream but who is saying it. And who stares up at us with big mirror eyes. And who don't know who we are. Are you really? No. <laughs> <laughs> yes! No. Yes! Get away from me! Now we both have a secret. In the most entire world, you're the only one I loved or ever have loved. And I love you terribly, terribly. That's so awfully, irreducibly real. I can make up anything I want, but I can't dream that way. Are you really going to have a baby? It's my time, and there's no blood. I don't really know. It, I suppose it wouldn't be a great thing, right? Maybe I'm just not bleeding because I took too many pills. Maybe I'll give birth to a pill. That would give any pills. <laughs> I think you should go alone. Change, like you said. I'm not going to leave you, Harper. Well, maybe not, but I'm going to leave you. <laughs> Yeah.
Nobody knows what causes it, and nobody knows how to cure it. The best theory is that we blame a retrovirus, the human immunodeficiency virus. Its presence is made known to us by useless antibodies, which appear in reaction to its entrance into the bloodstream through a pet or an orifice. The antibodies are powerless in protecting the body against it. Why? We don't know. The body's immune system ceases to function. Sometimes it even attacks itself. At any rate, it's left open to a whole horror house of infections from microbes, which it usually protects itself against. This is very interesting, Mr. Wizard. Well, why the fuck are you telling me this? <laughs> well, I have just removed one of three lesions, which biopsy results will probably tell us is a Kaposi sarcoma lesion. And you have pronounced swelling in the glands underneath your neck, groin, and armpits. Lymphadenopathy is another sign. So that's, that's why... It's disease. Syndrome. Whatever. It affects mostly homosexuals and drug addicts. Mostly. Hemophiliacs are also at risk. Homosexuals and drug addicts. So what are you implying that I am... What are you implying, Andre? Oh, I, I don't. I'm not a drug addict. Oh, come on, Roy. What? What, come on, Roy, what? <laughs> this is absurd. Say it. Say what? Say, Roy Cohn, you are a... Roy. You are a... Go on, Andre. It starts with an H. I'm not gonna... With an H, Andre. And it isn't hemophilia. <laughs> what are you doing, Roy? I mean it. Say it. Say, Roy Cohn. You are a homosexual. And I will proceed systematically to destroy your career, reputation, and practice in the New York State, which you know I can do, Henry. Roy, you have been seeing me since 1958. Apart from the facelifts, I have treated you for everything from syphilis. From a whore in Dallas. From syphilis to venereal warts in your rectum. Which you may have gotten from a whore in Dallas, but it wasn't a female whore. So say it. Roy Cohn, you are a... You've slept with men, Henry, me, Roy, many, many times. And one of them, or any number of them, have made you very sick. You have AIDS. AIDS? You know what your problem is, Henry? That so you're stuck up on words and on labels, and that you think they mean what they seem to mean. AIDS, homosexual, gay, lesbian. You think these are words who tell you who someone sleeps with, but they don't tell you that. No? No. These words tell you one thing and one thing only. Where does an individual so identified fit in the food chain, the pecking order? No ideology or sexual taste, but something much, much simpler. Clout. Not who I fuck or who fucks me, but who owes me favors. Now this is what labels refer to. To someone who does not understand this, homosexual is what I am because I have sex with men. But clearly, this is wrong. Homosexuals are men who in 15 years of trying cannot get an anti-pissing discrimination bill to city council. Homosexuals are men who know nobody and who nobody knows. Who have zero clout. Does this sound like me, Henry? No. No, it doesn't. I have clout a lot. I can pick up the phone, punch in 15 numbers, and do you know who will be under the other line of the line in under five minutes, Henry? The president. Even better, Henry. His wife. I'm impressed. <laughs> I don't want you to be impressed! I want you to understand. This is not sophistry, this is not hypocrisy. This is reality. I have 
sex with men, but unlike every other man of whom this is true, I bring the guy I'm screwing to the White House, and President Reagan smells at us and shakes his head. Because what I am is entirely defined by who I am. Roy Cohn isn't a homosexual, Henry. Roy Cohn is a heterosexual man who fucks around with guys. All right, Roy. So what was my diagnosis, Henry? You have AIDS, Roy. No. Henry, no. AIDS is something that homosexual. I have liver cancer. Whatever the fuck you have, Roy, it's serious. I haven't got a damn thing for you. The NIH and Bethesda has a new drug called AZT, with a two-year waiting list that I can get you on. So get on the phone, Roy. Dial 15 numbers, and tell the First Lady that you need it on a new experimental treatment for liver cancer? You can call it any damn thing you want, Roy. What it boils down to is very bad news. Okay, if I just like you, Lou, if I just sleep a little. No, Luis, please don't call. You will send me there and I won't come back. Please. <laughs> please, baby. Luis, I'm begging. I'm begging. Luis! Luis! Luis, shut the fuck up! I. I have to go to the fucking bathroom. I. Oh. Okay, fire baby, they'll be here any minute now and... I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. What happened? I had an accident. Baby. Baby, this is blood. Maybe you shouldn't touch it. Me? better than here. You is, um... <coughs> yes, something is all. This must be hell for you. It is hell, the afterlife. It's a lot more vivid than I'd imagine. Weird name. 
name? Prior Walter. Like the Walter before this one. Lots of Walters before this one. Walters, they go back to the Mayflower and beyond. And he says there's a prior Walter stitched onto the bio tapestry. Is that impressive? Well, that's old. Very old. Which in some circles, I guess, equals impressive. Not in my circle. What's the name of the tapestry? The Bio Tapestry. Embroidered by La Reine Mathieu. Mathieu, she stitched while William the Conqueror was off the war. She was capable of more than loyalty. Of devotion. If you come back broken, defeated from war, she would have loved him even more. He'd come back bruised and full of vomit and, and sores and disease. She would have still loved him, fed by a sharing of pain, by a pity. By a pity. She never, never would have prayed to God. Oh God, please, only let him return if he's able to live a happy and normal life and able to love me. And if he had died, she would have buried her heart with him. What the fuck is the matter with me? I know what time it is, night erg. Home. Danger. Look. If if he wakes up and you're still on, tell him Tell him goodbye. Tell him Tell him I had to leave. What, boy? Oh. 
Yes. Yes, sir. Mm. You never know you're out with a man. No, sir. My lover doesn't know, sir. You never really know you are. Look, let's change the subject. Okay. Can we go to your place? <clears throat> I live with my parents. <laughs> Here. Do you have a condom? I don't use condom. <laughs> well, you should. Here. I don't use them. Forget it then. No, wait. Put it on the way. No, it's getting late. I, I have to get back. No, no, he won't find out. It's cold, it's too cold. It's never too cold. Let me warm you up. Mom and Dad. Ah! Yeah. Oh! It was a joke. You can see it. You can see it. No, no. Can I? Oh yeah, sure. Crazy cold sun, huh? Have to make the best of it. How's your friend? My... Oh, he's worse. My friend is worse. I still can't believe you voted for Reagan. I hope he gets better. Reagan, <laughs> your friend. He won't. He won't. Nor will Reagan. <laughs> Let's not talk politics, okay? You're eating three of those? Well, I'm hungry. Okay, well, they're terrible for you. Full of rat poo and beetle eggs and wood shavings and shit. Huh? And iridium. Something toxic. You're eating one. Yes, well, the shape. I just can't resist my son. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to commit suicide. What is your excuse? Uh, I don't have an excuse. I just have... Pepto. Ugh. Uh, yeah, I know. But then I just wash it down with Coke. Are you always like this? <laughs> you know, I've been worrying about his children. Who? Regans. Maureen and Mike and little orphan Patty and Miss Ron Reagan Jr., the... I should pardon this expression. Heterosexual! Ron Reagan Jr. is not! You shouldn't be making these assumptions about people. How do you know who he is? You don't know. Well, darling, he never sucked my cock. Look, <laughs> you're gonna get vulgar. No, but really, I mean it. What's it like to be the child of the zeitgeist? To have the American animus as your father? You know, I read people. They're not a real family, the Reagans. There's no love, no connections. They don't even speak to each other without their agents present. What's it like to be Reagan's child? Inquiring minds want to know. 
can't believe it. I guess it means. We all know what that's like nowadays. You know? Love. No connection. All of us just falling to the cracks that separate what we owe to ourselves. What we owe to love. You just... Whatever you feel like seeing or doing, you just don't care. You just do it. Do what? It. Whatever. Whatever it is you want to do. Are you trying to tell me something? No. I'm just observing that you... Impulsive. I mean... And of the free, home of the brave, cause the responsible. It's kind of terrifying. Yeah, well, freedom is. It's heartless, too. Oh, you're not heartless. You don't know. Finish your weenie. <laughs> <laughs> um. I can't go in there today. Then don't. I, I can't. I need a change. I shouldn't be making these. Want some company? Or whatever? <laughs> Look. Sometimes, even if, it, even if it hurts you, you've got to be willing to break a few laws. Know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> you know, maybe the courts won't convene ever again. <coughs> maybe we're free to do whatever. Children of the new morning, criminal minds, heartless and selfish and greedy and loveless and blind. Maybe you should. You're scared. So am I. So is everyone in this land of the free. <laughs> God help us all. something out on you. Joe, you haven't... Have you been drinking, Joe? Well, yes, ma'am. I'm... drunk? That isn't like you. I mean, who's to say? What are you doing out on the street? In that crazy city, it's dangerous. Actually, ma'am, I'm not on the street. I'm not on the city. I'm in the park. What park? Central Park. Central Park. Oh my lord. What on earth are you doing in Central Park at this time of night? Are you... I Joe, I, I think you ought to go home now. Call from home. I've come here to watch, Mom. Just to watch. Watch what? What on earth is there to watch in the park at four in the morning? Mom? Did Dad love me? What? Did he? Oh, Joe, you 
ought to go home. Let's go from there. Answer! Oh, now really. This is maudlin. I don't like this conversation. Well, it gets worse from here on. Joe! Mom? Mama? I'm a homosexual, Mama. Boy, did that sound awkward? Hello? Hello? I'm a homosexual! Please, Mama. Say, so say something. You are old enough to understand that your father could love you without being ridiculous about it. What? You're ridiculous. You're being ridiculous. Fine. I'm going to move out! Fuck you, Arthur, please listen. I, I still love you very much. You're still my best buddy. I don't like the sound of this. I'm leaving. I'm leaving! I'm a very hard. Please listen, stay! This is too hard. We have to talk. We are talking now, aren't we? No, please shut up, okay? Bastard! Sneaking <laughs> off while I'm flat out here. That's low. If I could get out now, I'd beat the holy shit out of you. Did you take pills? How many? No pills, but for the... You are pregnant! I called your gynecologist! I'm seeing a new gynecologist! You have no right to do this! Oh, that's ridiculous! No right! It's criminal! Forget about that, just listen. You want the truth? This is the truth. I knew this when I married you. I knew this as long as I've known anything. But I don't know, well... With, with enough effort, I thought I could change myself. But I can't. Criminal! Oh, there ought to be a law! Oh, there is a law. You will see. I'm losing ground here. I go walking. You want to know where I walk? I go to the park. Or up and down 53rd Street. Or places where... And I keep swearing. I won't go walking again, but I just can't. I need some privacy. Oh, that's new. Everything is new! Prior! I tried to tighten my heart in turn. I tried to learn to live dead. Just enough. But then I see someone I want. And it's like a hot spike right through my chest. And I know I'm losing. Apartment is more for free, huh? Louis and Pryor coffee. But not Louis and Pryor and Pryor's deceit. Something like that. And I will be shot by you. This isn't a crime, it's the inevitable consequence of people who fall out of... 
Whose limitations bang, 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 the court will come to Let's order. Let's schedules and practicalities. I'll come over if you want. I can, I can spend the night with you if you want, and I can, I, I can. Has to you and reach a verdict. I'm doing the best I can. Oh, pathetic. Who cares? My whole life has conspired to bring me to this place, and I can't despise my whole life. I thought, I believe when I married you, I could save you. You at least, if not myself. But I don't have any sexual feelings for you, Arthur. And I don't think I ever, ever did. I think you should go. Where? Washington. It doesn't matter. What are you talking about? Without me. Without me, Joe? Isn't that what you want to hear? Yes, you can love someone and fail them. You can love someone and not be able to... You can, theoretically, yes. A person can, maybe an editorial, you can love Louis, but not you, specifically you. I don't know, I think you are excluded from that general category. You were trying to save me the whole time you were spinning a life. I just don't understand that. A person could be ready to love, and maybe many do, but we both now know you can. I don't, you can't keep me safe. I love you, Brian! Oh, I repeat, who cares? This is so scary! I want you to stop, to go back! As long as I've known you, Harper, you've been a fatal man, hiding under the bed, men hiding under the sofa, men of men with knives! I'm dying! You stupid fuck! Do you know what that is? Love! Do you know what love means? We lived together four and a half years, you fucking animal! You idiot! I need to find a way to save myself. Who are these men? I never understood it. But now I know. What? It's me. It is. Get out of my room. I'm the man with the knives. You are. If I could get out now, I'd kill you. I would. So go away, go away, or I would scream. Oh, God. Please don't scream. Go! It is you. I'm sorry. Please. I recognize you now. Oh, wait. <coughs> I'm bleeding. Our work begins 
prepare for the parting of the air, the breath, the scent. Glory to! <laughs> Pharmaceutical miracle, Lazarus breaks again. Shirts up. Let's check the... Only six. That's good. Hands. Looking good. What else? Uh, ankle sore and swollen. But the legs, better. My doctor I says everything's okay for now. My dentist says yuck when he sees my fatty tongue. And now he wears little condoms on his thumb and forefinger and a mask. My friend died a few days ago of bird tuberculosis. Bird tuberculosis. That scared me. And I didn't go to the funeral today because he was an Irish Catholic and it's probably open casket. And I am afraid of something. Thinking or the bird to be, or so yes, I guess I am doing okay, except for fuck. I'm going nuts. We ran the tax of the most serious, and there's really no indication. I know, I know, but I feel like something terrifying is on its way, you know, like a missile from outer space and plummeting down towards the earth and I am ground zero and I am generally nowhere I am now as one cool collected queen and I am ruffled there's really nothing to worry about that bar is not to put hard in the room also come with me lift a clip okay the attic you can go go hell and you want to stay with him you got it what the prior to come to about to go to hell and then do more for stagnant or we come to stage we come to your dad something oh i don't understand what are you saying you come to the true at the can come to hell and then we tar lit to lit oh stop it Stop what? Were you? Wouldn't you just speak in Hebrew or something like that? <laughs> Hebrew? I'm basically telling Americans. No, I don't speak Hebrew. Oh God. Oh no, I really think I'm going. Look, you're not going nuts. You're just under a lot of pressure. No one. <laughs> <laughs> he 
Hebrew. Hebrew. <laughs> 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 like this place. It's my own National Geographic special. Oh, oh, I think I felt a kitten. <laughs> Maybe I'll give birth to a baby, the bird will speak quite slow, so she doesn't get cold. My breast will be full of hot cocoa, so she doesn't get chilly. And if it gets really cold, she'll have a pouch and control it, <laughs> like a marshmallow. We'll mend together. That's what we'll do. We'll mend. Busy here. It's just and a job. A job? 
A job! Washington! Tom, you that Mormon hick shit! Roy! Washington! And Washington called me. I was younger than you. And do you think that I said, Ah, fuck no, I can't go. I got two fingers on my asshole and a little moral nose bleed to boot. When Washington calls you, my pretty little punk friend, you can either go, or you can fuck yourself sideways. Fuck you, Mary Jane, get out of here. Just let me in. Explain. Ephemera. You broke my heart. Explain that. Explain that. I love you. Roy, there is so much I want to be. What you see in me. I want to be a participant in the world, in your world, Roy. I try. I, I really have. But I can't. Maybe you were right. Maybe I'm just dead. You're not dead, boy. You're a sissy. You love me. It's moving. I'm moved. It's nice to be loved. But I warned you about her. Didn't I, Joe? But Roy is smart. And Roy is a friend. And well, Roy isn't nice. And you want to be a nice, nice man, right? I've had many accomplishments in my life. What I am able to look back on and be proud of. And I've helped make presidents and mayors and any more goddamn judges in New York City ever. And several million dollars tax free. And do you know what means most to me? Joe. Have you ever heard of Ethel Rosenberg, Joe? Well, yeah. I guess I... Yes? Yes. Yes, you've heard of Ethel Rosenberg, yes. You've maybe even read about her in the history books. If it wasn't for me, she would still be alive today, writing some personal advice column for Mrs. Magazine, but she isn't. Because during the trial, Joe, I was on the phone talking with the judge Roy? every day, doing what I do best. Making sure that timid Gidnevich on the bench did his duty to history, to America. I was this close to putting the fucking switch if they let me. Why? Because I fucking hate traitors! Because I fucking hate communists! Was it legal? Fuck legal! Am I a nice man? Fuck nice! They say terrible things about me in the nation. Well, fuck the nation! Do you want to be nice? Or do you want to be effective? Make the law or subject to it. Choose. Your wife chose. A week from now, she'll be back. Because she knows how to get what she wants. Maybe I'll just send her to Washington. I don't believe you. Gospel. Roy, you can't possibly mean what you're saying. You were the assistant United States attorney on the Rosenberg case. Ex parte communication with the judge during the trial would be censurable at least and probably conspiracy. And in a case that resulted in execution, it is. What? Murder. You are not well, is all. Who said that? Who said <laughs> well? Roy, you have cancer. No, I don't. You told me you were dying. What the fuck is wrong with you, Joe? There's not a goddamn thing wrong with me. I'm in perfect health. Shake. It's okay that you hurt me because I love you, baby Joe. That's why I'm so rough on you. Prodigal son, the world will wipe its dirty hands all over you. It already has, Roy. Now go! I 
I'll always be here, waiting for you. What the fuck was all this? What do you want from me? What was all this? Look at us, I'm great, you know? Transgress a little. Show us up. There are so many laws. Find one you can break. Come dance with me. I can't. My neck hurts at night. Are you a ghost? <laughs> no, no. Just spectral. Lost to myself. Sitting all day on cold park benches. Wishing I could be with you. Come dance with me. Babe. Of the book of life and. Oh, of course. It's 
Oh, I'm talking nonsense. <sighs> no more math scene. Oh, gosh, gosh, gosh. <clears throat> Do you know the story of Lazarus? Lazarus? Lazarus. I can't remember what happened exactly. Well, he was dead. And Jesus reading life with him. He brought him back from dead. Come here often? No. Yes. Yes. Brought him back from the dead, huh? You really believe that happened? I don't know anymore. But I believe. It's quite a coincidence, us meeting here like this. I followed you. From work, I followed you here. Follow me. You followed me. You probably saw me that day in the washroom and thought, hey, there's a nice guy who cries for his friends in need. Yes? You thought maybe I'd cry for you too. Yes. <gasps> well, I fooled you. Crocodile theory, nothing. Hey, what? No. Don't do that. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just not really, really sorry. I just feel like if you touch me, your hand might fall off or something. Worst things have happened to people who have touched me. Oh, please. I really want to. Touch you. Can I please... Um, touch you, um, here? Oh, boy, I'm going to hell for this. Thank you. I think that would be any worse than New York City. Come on. Where? Oh, with me. Uh, this makes no sense. Uh, I don't know you. Likewise. And what you know about me, you don't like. The Republican stuff? Yeah, but for starters... I do not like that. I hate it. So why on dirt should we... <laughs> Strange bedfellows, huh? I never made it with one of the damned before. Look, I, I would really appreciate not having to spend the night with you. I'm a pretty terrible person, Lee. Luke. No, I really, really am. I don't think I deserve being loved. There, see? We already have something in common. Pressure. I am a gay man. I am, I am used to pressure, to trouble. I am strong, I am tough, and I am. Oh. 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 Goodness. Oh. I'm hot. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh. Oh, what is going on here? 
I must have a fever or something. I, oh. I'm scared! Wait! Wait! Something's approaching! Wait! No! Louis! No, 